morning, everyone. It is so great to have you with us with worship this morning. Good morning, Miss Sarah. Good morning, Miss Kristen. Good morning, everyone. I am so happy that all of you are here today because I have so many questions about today's Bible reading. Oh, well, Miss Sarah, this is a great place to ask questions. Oh, well, good. Okay, so I was thinking, mm -hmm. okay, so God is our Father, right? Yes. Which means that He loves us so much. Yes. Okay, but in the garden, He told Adam and Eve to not eat that one fruit. But why would he do that? Shouldn't he just give them whatever they want since he loves them? Oh, I see what you're saying, Miss Sarah. Hmm, God is our father, and he did tell them not to eat that one fruit. So friends, can you turn to someone that you're with and tell them about a time when maybe one of your parents or a teacher told you no or said that you couldn't do something? Why would they do that? Thank you guys for answering. You know, it's not always fun being told no. It is not fun, and I totally understand that, but sometimes, did you know that being told no is actually the best thing for us? What do you mean, Miss Kristen? Well, let's think about it this way. When you're out driving with your parents and there's a stoplight or a stop sign, your parents have to stop. Uh, yeah, that's true. I guess they have to keep us safe and they have to make sure no other cars are coming. They're just protecting us. Yes, that is exactly right. The same thing is true for the law. The rules that God has given us, rules aren't there to hurt us. They're actually there to protect us. Oh, I see. Okay, so like when Adam and Eve were in the garden and, if, and they ate the fruit that God said not to eat, that's when things started going bad, when they went against the rules, right? That's right. That's when sin entered the world. And with sin came death. But God loves us so much that he gave us a way out. Oh, that's right. He sent Jesus to die on the cross and rise again so that we can live forever with him, right? That's exactly right. God gives us rules to follow so that we can be saved. He gives us rules because he loves us. But you know what? We still mess up. But we can go to God for forgiveness. I am so thankful that we have a Heavenly Father who loves us so much. Let's pray and thank him. Let's pray. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For taking care of us. For taking care of us. And loving us. And loving us. Please help us. Please help us. To love those around us too to love those around us too. We love you. We love you. Amen. 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 